What's up, everybody? Back here for another Mullet Man episode. Me and old Mysterious Brad headed down here to Lake Charles, Louisiana. We got the old jet boat behind us. We're gonna try to catch some reds, trout, flounder, whatever we can catch, black drum. Uh, we brought the bows. Maybe shoot a few stingrays or flounder or, I don't know, catch some sheep's head. I don't care what we catch as long as we catch some fish, but we're about 15 minutes from uh, where we're going to launch the boat. So we woke up super early this morning, got in the truck, got down here so we can get, get some fishing in this evening. We're going to fish it out this evening, kind of feel, feel the water out and try to find some honey holes for tomorrow. Hopefully we get some in the boat today, but... Some of us woke up super early. Yeah, I, I accidentally slept through my alarm <laughs> like 30 minutes. I stayed up late last night editing, and I never sleep through my alarm. I usually wake up before my alarm goes off, but... Stop, get a bite to eat, go get some uh, live shrimp. I've never been down here. Brad's been down here multiple times, so we're just fishing with live shrimp. Yeah. Live shrimp, and I tied on a few plastics, and I'll see you guys on the water. All right, guys, we made it to the boat ramp. I'm backing Brad down right now. We're trying to get in. We don't have a whole lot of time left in the day. So we're going to get him in. We just ate lunch. Get him in the water, and then uh, we just drive up to this little shack right here, I guess, and get our bait, live shrimp. Hopefully they have some. Brad has said that they ran out before, so... Well guys, this bait store is closed. Apparently they don't open till March, so we're either going to try plastics or we're going to run really far in the boat to another bait shop that might have shrimp. So I don't know what we're going to do yet, but we'll figure it out. Well, we made it to where we think there's a store, but it looks closed, so I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to see if this store is open and go from there, I guess. Well, apparently nobody shrimps in the winter. <laughs> that sucks. Probably should have thought about that before we came. We're going to, uh, we're going to try, we're going to give it our all with plastics, though. I can promise you that. I'm not leaving here until I catch a fish. Right? Right. Well, as you can tell, we did not catch anything. I don't know what we're gonna do. What's the plan, Brad? I have no idea, like that. Yeah, it's pretty windy. We're gonna come up with a plan. I'll keep you posted. Well, as you can tell, we did not come up with a plan last night. We went back to the hotel, uh, edited a few videos, and went to bed, crashed out. It's six o'clock right now. Sorry, it's seven o'clock right now. We're actually meeting up with Brad's buddy that lives down here. Uh, he fishes all the time, so we're gonna hop in his boat. Uh, he offered to take us in his boat. So we're meeting him at the dock right now, about, I don't know, what is it, five, 10 minutes from here? Hopefully he puts us on some fish, sun's out. There's hardly any wind today. It is gonna be a little colder than yesterday. It's like 60 degrees, which isn't bad. Well, the high is 60, so. We'll see what happens. I don't know if he's using uh, plastics or if he found live bait somewhere, but I know we couldn't find shrimp yesterday. That was that was terrible. If you have never had a gas station Crispito, then you have not lived life. Huh. Have you ever eaten this with salsa? Dip it with salsa? Yeah. Huh. Not that one. Man. It's time to go fishing.
You're probably wondering why I'm back in the truck. That boat right there has some bad juju going on. Electrical problem or something, I don't know. But we, uh, I guess we we're gonna run a long way down because he's wanting to go to a different boat ramp now with Brad's boat. So we're gonna go down this other boat ramp, hop in Brad's boat, and then hopefully catch some fish. <laughs> so Brad says that it can only get better from here. And then he said, it may get worse first, but it can only get better from here. So y'all leave it in the comments and tell me what that means, because I really don't know how that works. If it can only, if it can get worse first, but it can only get better from here. There. From there. From here. Right. So, we're going All right, guys, we finally made it to our first spot. I don't know what we're throwing yet. All our setup is for this is spinning rod, uh, cork, and then a little jig. Not a good one. First fish of the day, finally, and it is a stud for sure. I think I'll make another run. Heck yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, boys. First red of the day. Nice. Let's get some more. We got dinner. Eat good. That rod, Brad. <laughs> that ain't even What funny. you got, Brad? It looks like a red. That's a good one, huh? Yeah, feels good. Heck yeah. Second fish. Third, actually. Third, but you lost the second one. Might as well. Knocked the rod out of his hand. Probably wouldn't be hard. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Brad, do you have anything to say in this video? Maybe a little bit. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I think they are twins, bud. Yeah. They look pretty much exactly the same. Same size. All right, guys, we're on again. It's been about an hour and a half since we caught the last fish, but we found them again. I hadn't seen him yet. He feels good. Uh, oh, it's red. Pretty red. Heck yeah. Man, look at the copper on him. Better looking. Alright guys, another pretty red. This is our third one of the day. It doesn't get any better than that. Throw him in the box. Take him home and eat good. Hooked up again, boys. Woo! <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, I gotta put these. I have zoomed. Oh, you don't have to. That's a good fish right there. Fourth fish and uh, Bradley. I'm winning. It's three to one right now, boys, if you haven't uh, noticed. He let one go with a rod earlier. We're going to put this fish back. He's a... Uh, I don't know if he's over slot, but he's a good looking fish and we got plenty, so maybe catch a few more to throw in there that are smaller. We're gonna throw him back and uh, let him live another day. Go make some babies. I think I need to give Brad an opportunity to catch fish because this is a uh, four to one. But uh, we throwing this one in the box? We'll keep him. We'll keep him. He's going in the box. He's going on the dinner table, boys. Got him? Yep, good one. <laughs> hey, Brad. 
I are on another stud. Had to take my jacket off. I was getting so hot on this rod. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Brad's jealous. I can't keep the camera out of my hand long enough. Hey, this is a good fish though. He's fighting like he's something, that's for sure. Heck yeah, boys. Man. This net you got here, Brad, is not very good. Really prepared. There we go. Five to one. He's out. Get a release back on this fish. Boy. Go bite Brad's jig, please, so I can stop hearing him. Oh, yeah. Good, keep a size. Now, that's what I like catching right there. Hey, Brad. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. <laughs> Perfect little eater. We had a great day of fishing, but we gotta go home. My sister's pregnant, she's about to have her baby, and I'm five hours from home. <laughs> Load up, we're about to, I guess I guess we can't clean the fish here, so we have to go back to where we first put in this morning. It's on the way back anyway. So we're gonna run over there, clean the fish, and then get on the road. We are about to head home. We're gonna clean these guys up. We're keeping them on the half shell, so that means, um, you keep the scales and the skin on, on the fillet. But you just wanna... Their scales are so tough. I'll back you in. I'll back you in. Throwing your knife down that backbone. Go over them ribs so you don't have to cut through them. Cut through a few pin bones. Like like the Jaguar cars, they say you just got that too. One to drive on the other to the top. And that is it. That is a half shell on the half shell redfish fillet. That's it right there. I'll do the other side for you real quick. Cut the gill. Whatever that is, gill plate. Scaring you? <laughs> ah, that one, it was a too easy, man. This little thing I was doing right here. Clean that up. And that is your uh, throat. You can cut that in half. Break it down, throw it on the grill like that. We will uh, show y'all on the grill how that looks on the grill. So we're gonna clean the rest of these fish and uh, get on the road. I gotta get home. Like I said, my sister's about to have a baby, so I'm about to be an uncle for the first time. As I am back from Louisiana, and I'm about to show you how to cook. Redfish on a half shell. Look at the sunset. That is beautiful. Uh, sweet potatoes that I cut up. A little olive oil on them. And uh, some garlic salt. Sweet potato fries. One. And uh, some asparagus. Same thing. A little olive oil. And. About that much butter. Chunk, add a little black pepper and salt. Throw that in the oven. I got the redfish on a half shell. 
the throats, and then some fresh boudin that we picked up in Louisiana. Now on this redfish, doing something different. I got a little, little surprise. This right here is a mullet man spice that we've been coming up with, and I think we finally got it down to a T to where we want it. It's a fish spice, so anything fish, chicken, stuff like that. Uh, it's not really a red meat spice, it's more of like a, um, like similar to Old Bay slash, we just have our own twist on it. So what I'm gonna do in this video is, if you can, everybody comment their name on what you think this should be called. Mullet man what? Fish dust, whatever y'all come up with. Y'all come up with a name. So whoever comes up with the name that we like the most, I'm gonna send you a pack of our seasoning and some shirts and hats and stickers and stuff. So leave it in the comments what you think we should name this spice. And also leave it in the comments if any of you would be interested in buying um, a mullet man spice. Um, that'll give us a better idea on uh, how much we can order and if it's even worth doing. But it was fun doing it. Uh, me and my dad sat down, put a bunch of spices together and uh, mixed up a bunch of different things. And I think we finally got it down to the one that we like. So I'm gonna use that on this today and I'll show you how we do it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this spice and just dust the whole filet of it. It's hard when it's not in a bottle. They'll be in bottles soon though. And whoever comes up with the name, that's what's gonna be on the bottle. Sorry Angel, I just sneezed all over your fish. I put a little bit of butter on it. Take some cubes of butter. I know it's all gonna melt off on the grill, but um, what what leaves on there, what's left on there will be really good. So take a little minced garlic, add that to it. And that is it. Super simple, super good. I'm gonna let the grill heat up and then we'll throw them on the grill. Oh yeah. Alright guys, grill's hot. And what this, uh, what, cooking it on the half shell, what it does basically is you're basically just, um, it, it acts as a plate for the fish. So it kind of acts as like foil. If you were to just lay foil on here and put a regular fillet of fish on here with no skin, that's basically what it does. So, uh, people say it just adds flavor and stuff like that. All right, shut the lid on her and uh, let it do its thing. I'm gonna have to come out here and flip this boot in, but uh, you just leave it just like that until it's done. Um, when the fish starts flaking off of the skin, that's when you wanna pull it off, so. All right, guys, the fish is done. Boot in's not done. I, the two I originally put on there actually caught on fire and completely burned up. So I had to throw, uh, well, I took as much meat as I can, as I could out of them, and I already ate it, so. This fish, though, is done. The uh, boudin still has a little while to go, because I just put it on there like five minutes ago. Oh, that is perfect. I'm gonna let this boudin finish cooking, and I'll see y'all in the kitchen. We can. Mm. All right, all right, guys. Angel has never had redfish before, so cut you off a piece. Ooh, my boot in. Yeah. All right, guys. Here's the first taste test of the redfish. Let's see what it tastes like with that seasoning. What do you think? Good? That's the best fish you've made, I think. Let's I mean, you've made that. a lot of good fish, but... 
She's okay. lying for the video. No, I'm not. That's really good. Really good. Super good. Really good. So, leave your comments on what you think we should name this seasoning. And also leave your comments if you'd buy it. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you would or wouldn't. So, just be honest. Let me know what you guys think about the idea. And until next time, remember, eat good.